Tesla is building the biggest supercharger station in the world. And it's so big, it is nearly twice the size of the second or the currently biggest supercharger station in the world. There is no gasoline station worldwide. There is no petrol station with this many pumps, not even close. In fact, this is four times bigger than the world's biggest gas station or petrol station. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. It's really quite an interesting event, isn't it? When these electric charging stations become so incredibly big. Right now, the biggest supercharger station in the world is located in Colinga in California. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Californians, let me know in the comments. Anyhow, that one has 98 charging stations, so charging stores. So 98 different cars could be charging at one time. That's at the Harris Ranch Supercharger in Colinga, California. Okay, the second biggest in the world is the 84 stall supercharger in Arizona. That's in Quartzsite in Arizona. I'm guessing that's probably in Phoenix. But those are pretty damn small in comparison to the one that Tesla is currently building, which has 168 charging ports, 168. Uh, there is no gas station in the world that has anywhere near that many gas pumps. In fact, not even a quarter of that number. Because you would need to have, what's that, 40, 43 gas pumps. And there's, there's nothing worldwide that's that big. Anyway, this shows you just how incredibly large this is. 168 cars can all charge at once. It kind of shows you just how seriously Tesla is taking the superchargers, just how seriously Tesla wants to take over this, this area of business. I mean, how would you feel if you're a big oil company and your Tesla's basically about to eat your lunch? That's what's happening. Tesla is building this massive supercharger station in California. It's going to be by far the world's largest superchargers, uh, largest supercharger station by a mile. The construction application for the site has just been approved in Kern County, California. And the project is called a supercharger station and microgrid, which will feature solar canopies, drive through stalls and Tesla mega packs. So a lot of the power that Tesla will use will be free for Tesla. Uh, Tesla's going to generate, create some of its own solar power. Of course, it will use that um, push that solar power into its mega pack batteries. But not only that, much more relevant than that. That's, that's a decent amount of power, but it's nothing in comparison to the power that Tesla will draw out of the energy grid for free. Yes, I said for free. It sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? But Tony Sieber will tell you the same thing. Tony Sieber is always right. So if you want to question more what I'm saying, well, maybe give, send him an email. Say, Tony Sieber, what's the electric Viking talking about? But Sieber said this. We're going to see a 200% 200% overbuilding of renewables worldwide. We're starting to see that in many places. We're starting to see uh, energy prices go beyond below zero in Europe, below zero in places in Australia, below zero in many different locations because at certain times of the day, there's just simply too much energy, too much renewable energy for the grid. There's too much sun, creates too much energy, and it becomes a problem. Well, yeah, not, not a problem for Tesla. Tesla are more than happy to take that excess solar energy out of the grid. And um, when you, if you think this is theoretical, it's absolutely not. We're seeing this happen in places like um, a large city here in Australia called Adelaide. They have often too much solar. So what happens is um, the basically there's two options here. Regulators have to go around turning solar panels off and this is a pain in the ass for them to do that. Or they simply give electricity for free or they in fact will pay you to take electricity out of the grid. There's actually three options. So that's what Tesla's doing here. They're not just building 168 stalls in order to do the world some great good. It's actually to make a profit. They're going to make a lot of money. Now imagine if you were a gas station, a gas company, you could get gasoline for free or if possibly get gasoline and someone would pay you to take the gasoline for you and then you could sell it to other, to other car owners. This is one of the best business models in the history of business models. Can, can you tell me another business model where uh, this, uh, this, is, this system is in operation? where you can get your product for free or possibly be paid to take that product. Now, the same thing will happen in California. It's a matter of time for when this happens. I'd estimate 
probably five to six years before Tesla begins to be able to take energy from the grid for free. But either way, Tesla will be able to take energy from the grid before that happens, when it's very, very, very cheap, the cheapest points of the day, Tesla software recognizes when those times are and takes energy from the grid. And then it sells them to car owners at much higher prices, probably on average 50 times higher than what they'll be paying. So having these massive Tesla mega packs means you just can't compete with Tesla. If you are a charging network and you're trying to compete with Tesla, you're taking energy out of the grid at whatever time of the day people want it. Uh, Tesla's taking it out of the grid when it's the cheapest. Uh, how do you compete with that? You can't. I think, honestly, Tesla has this market sewn up. Yeah, they're not going to own all of it, but possibly up to 50%. And that is worth billions of dollars. Located close to Lost Hills off of Highway 46 near the junction with I-5, this massive site plans for as many as 16 pull-through stalls. So 16 stalls where you can drive like a trailer through them. It's going to have solar canopies above every single parking spot. So there'll be 168 solar canopies. Apparently, Tesla may be working on a solar farm nearby, near the charging stations, where they apparently could actually send massive amounts of solar power um, straight to this massive supercharger station. So that's that's pretty awesome, right? To, to know that you're going to be charging your electric car with 100% solar energy, whether it's from the canopy above your car or whether it's from the solar farm nearby, both of them are renewable and clean. With this news, it's worth keeping in mind that Tesla now has over 51,000 charging stores. In other words, 51,000 supercharger locations worldwide. Imagine if you were a gas company and you had 51,000 gas pumps, you'd be one of the biggest gas companies worldwide. To give you some context on just how big of a potential revenue generator this is for Tesla. And also when you remember the fact that EVs are not really mainstream yet. I mean, only 8% of all cars sold in the US last year were electric. Well, when that number hits 70%, 80%, 90%, imagine how much money Tesla can make simply from selling electricity, which will either be free or extremely cheap. Thanks for watching.